What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2122 Panini Photogenic Basketball just sold out. This is a seven box half case break. Pick your team's number three. And again, guys, all cards ship. Uh, this is the first half of the case, so the second half is in the store. Uh, we'll probably have to fill that one up as well. Uh, we have a new toner. Just got to put it in, but I'm trying to uh, have any every ounce of life on this sheet because this sheet's more more for just the shipping team. But uh, of course, you guys know who you guys got and who you guys won. And of course, the case is right there, photogenic. Whoa. Hold on one second. Let me also scan this out before I forget. Perfect. Uh, Tyler, that was Chris last night. He was covering for Joe. He just started breaking with us not too long ago. So you'll see him more frequently on here uh, whenever me or Joe's out or uh, eventually fit him into the schedule at some point. We do stream seven days a week, though, so, you know, there'll be days where both of us won't be able to break. And then rotate through Instagram and stuff like that. All right, uh... Seven on the left, seven on the right. Two. One, two, three. So this half here will be for number four. Uh, he's on vacation right now, Tyler. He should be back on uh, Sunday or Monday. His scheduled days are Sunday through Thursday. So... If you want, you can always come back on those days. All right, one, two, three, four. Put that over here for later. Just sticking out of this box. Weird. All right, so we ripped some of this photogenic last week. Uh, last week when I was here, got a glimpse of Pikachu number two. Um, but uh, this stuff wasn't bad, guys. I mean, it sucked that the first half of Pikachu number one was much better than number two. But I kind of did like this. I think someone mentioned it yesterday, uh, last week. I don't know who it was, but it's just basically top stadium club baseball, but Panini's version called. Photogenic, you know what I mean? So basically, it's just a nice imagery. Um, you do get one numbered card and one auto per box. Um, and it's some really nice stuff, actually. It wasn't too bad. A lot of great autographs, like I said, we pulled in the first case. But it was kind of split up half and half. So hopefully, it's more, more evened out on this one. But good luck. So you have a little Kyrie Photogenic from when he was drafted. Trey Murphy, Ben Simmons, and there's a nice right there, Jalen Green. It's basically Stadium Club, Mike. No problem, Tyler. All good, buddy. I haven't seen the numbered card. Here it is. It's Wendell Carter Jr. to 75. Yeah, it's basically, I mean, everybody piggybacks and copies off of each other. <laughs> Just to be honest. Some a little bit more creative than others, but it's like, why can't we do that too, right? It's like a Pepsi Coke type of deal. And Jeremiah Robinson Earl.
Yeah, true, right? Uh, I'm not saying Panini is the only one uh, copying Tops. I think they both kind of similarly copied each other in a sense. But right, it's a great idea, right? Damn, we should do something like that. But obviously, it's like I mentioned it last week. It's like, uh, it's like I mentioned it last week. It's kind of like, hey, can I borrow your? Can I see your homework? So I can copy. It's like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Just, just switch it up a little bit. <laughs> so it's like, obviously, they had to do little things to switch it up, but it's basically almost the same. Um, yeah, I would. But you know. It's not like it'll always be price friendly for me. But yes, I would love to. SGA, Chat, and Giddy. That's the big three right there. Garuba. I'm a very picky PC or two, so I only PC certain products and certain stuff, so. K Cunningham. And a Russell Westbrook to 75. And Josh Christopher. So that's Thunder, Ben, Rockets. Everybody just leaving Giddy out, Terry. Just let them prove you guys wrong. It's like Giddy won Rookie of the Month like almost every single month until he got injured. And then no respect given. Oh yeah, Pizzle. Let's pull that card now, right? Let's pull that. T let's pull that card. That card is worth two thousand dollars now, and a replacement. Now tell me, Tops didn't do right by that, right? Everybody was like, "Oh man, Tops, you better have some explaining to do." And what the hell did they do? They're gonna dish out like sixty thousand dollars in boxes, probably. There's thirty-five versions of that. Plus, who knows if it was out of 10s, out of 5s, 1 of 1s. Well, see, that's the thing. Some people that sold it to, like, a friend or just wanted to get rid of it because they were so pissed thinking Tops might, might not do anything are probably just so regretting that right now. So basically, Tops came out with a press release today saying that, of course, they were not aware of that, and they take that very seriously. Um, so if anybody has the card already, or if you get it pulled in your box that you purchase or in a group break, you can uh, return that card, and they'll give you a free box of Definitive, and they'll send you a replacement card. So basically, that card is worth $2,000. Santi Aldama. Not necessarily, Tyler. It's just that their quality control did not catch that their autograph wasn't from those players. But yes, in the sense if you want to put it that way. But of course, they weren't trying to shy away from it. They solved it really fast within, what, two days? Like I said, it slips through the cracks. It's not the first time. All companies go through something like that. Scotty Lewis. Well, if they sign it exactly the same, or if the spouses are the ones signing it exactly when they first start, well, then we'll never really know. But I think you can kind of figure out which players' autographs are real or not, because for the most part, there's they're signing baseballs, they're signing you know relics and memorabilia through fans, through spring training, through everywhere. So I mean. Eventually, you kind of know which ones are real or not. 
Well, like I said, I mentioned it the other day, and I really thought that that's probably what happened was that they just couldn't get both of those guys to sign quickly. Now, I don't know. I would love for them to figure out who actually signed that, you know, um, but obviously they just couldn't get those guys together in time. One representative from each family or one person just did it for them, and that was it. They thought it would slip through the cracks, and it did. But, I mean, I'm just happy that they're resolving it, though. If that's all you want, you know. It's kind of more like a learning experience than anything. But, again, there's always conspiracy theories that they knew already and blah, blah, blah. But, whatever. At the end of the day, they're still dishing out money to make it right. So, there shouldn't really be too much complaining. Because, regardless, if that card was real, that card is probably not even worth a couple hundred dollars. So, whoever was in that quality control that, that day and time is probably going to get fired. Jalen Green. I mean, remember Dak Prescott? No, one starts, no one's talking about that, guys. Remember Dak Prescott? He was using auto pen. He was using a damn machine to sign his cards. Yeah, Terry, but you have to also remember, this wasn't like they gave it to them two months ago. They create products eight to twelve months in advance, so these guys are these guys most likely were in the lockout. Most likely, who knows? Randy Rosarena could have been in Mexico, you know, wherever the hell he was. Same thing with Austin Meadows. It's not like they dished out these cards like two, three weeks ago, you know, and put them into the production run. This was this was months ahead. Donovan Mitchell. Ooh, this one has two numbers. Wow, we actually hit one of these guys. We didn't see one in the first case. Luka Doncic. Look at that. Who has the Dallas Mavericks? Hand bottom straight up. I like that. That's very nice. So we didn't see one of these in the first case. I'm glad we got one in this case, though. And we have a redemption, and it's Trey Murphy, which is a pelican going to heaven. I know. Not every case is the same, Oliver, because obviously the last case we didn't get one of those sneaker like case hits. But I remember the last case, the first Pika team had all the big autographs, while the second half only had maybe one or two. So, I don't know. Hopefully we can kind of make it even here with these last three boxes. But if not, I would go grab those teams in the second half because it could be something similar to what we experienced in Pika teams one and two. That's a cool photo of Kareem. Moody, LeBron, Miles McBride to 75, Io, and Dayron Sharp. So ready, Dark. 
I'm so excited, dude. I mean, I'm just excited for football season to be pretty much almost here, but it's more exciting when your team has a lot of talent and can actually do some damage. Not to say I don't like it when the Eagles suck. I mean, I enjoy football in, in general, but it's just more exciting. But no, I miss football, man. It's crazy. Like, it's it's on for, like, you know, from, like, basically July or August till February, but... Those months after just could be so rough. Like right now, it's a rough time in sports. Like I said, baseball is pretty much only here. You have occasional like MLS if you like soccer. Obviously, all the other leagues around the world. But basically here, like no basketball anymore, no hockey, no football. Well, see, that's the thing, Terry. I, th I don't think they want... I don't think they probably want to lose money out on sending a real representative. But they have to do something like that. There has to be someone witnessing him sign it, though, you know? Which makes sense. I mean, if you're not going to go in person to sign, to go see the person sign, then at least videotape it or, like, be on a Zoom call, right? So that way you know that it's guaranteed. But again, it doesn't mean they do that for everybody. That's just my thing is that like, I just think that, like I said, they're just huge companies that go through so much. And uh, there's going to be times where it's going to slip through the cracks. They never want that to happen, though, because it just hurts their reputation, right? So they definitely want to make it as right as possible. You know, I don't think they, they meant to do that, but it just happened. So that's why I think it, that's why they're being pretty serious, you know? I guess they're being pretty serious about, like, we're going to give you a box and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they're probably going to fire whoever the hell was supposed to be monitoring them. See Occam? Yeah, a lot of trades this year. A lot of moving. Yeah, I think football is going to start becoming kind of like basketball where it's just going to be crazy. People are just going to be moving left and right now. Scotty Barnes. And Charles Bassey. Right, last box guys here we go wait is that a joke Terry or is that are you serious has to be a joke right Darius Garland for the Cavs, the 75. And Isaiah Livers. But why would it be so tough for you as a Raiders fan? I thought you'd be laughing and just being like, yeah, that's what you get. Yeah. Not like, sad. I thought you'd be like, hell yeah, screw them. <laughs> Alrighty. So there you go, guys. Isaiah Livers, Bassey, Dayron Sharp, Redemption, Case Hit, Scotty, Lewis, 
Josh Christopher, Jeremiah Robinson Earl. So again, the first case was kind of like this. One case had, one half of the case already had a lot of the bigger rookies. The other half had whatever, uh, not too crazy. But at least this side did have the case hit there. And again, I do expect the other half to be really loaded with rookies, guys. Really, really big. In the first case, like I said, we've seen Mobley, we've seen Scotty Barnes, we've seen uh, Jalen Green. We've seen a lot of great names. So I expect that for the second half, guys. So appreciate it, guys. Number four is in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com.